<clears throat> a 40 feet wide tunnel has the shape of a semi ellipse that is 5 feet high, a distance of 2 feet from either end. How high is the tunnel at its center? For this video, I am, I am with me, Sir Jeff. Sir Jeff, hello. Hi. Yeah, Hi. Again. So we have a 40 feet wide tunnel. So isipin natin yung tunnel natin. Um, let's assume na horizontal yung kanyang axis. So nakahiga yung tunnel. So first, ilagay muna natin yung ellipse natin sa Cartesian plane. So this is your y-axis, this is your x-axis. Now we will be placing the tunnel. This is not the best tunnel, uh, elliptical tunnel. Uh, yeah, I think this will work. Yeah. So kung 40 feet wide yung tunnel, Sir Jeff, ano tong nasa dula? Gagano kalayo to? Kung 40 feet wide, so tig, tig 20. Very good. So kung tig 20 to, nagalit siya kasi binary good ko siya. So kung tig 20 to, uh, the location of this is at negative 20, 0. And this one is at 20, 0. Now, um, at 2 feet from either end, the height of the tunnel is 5 feet. So, kung 2 feet from either end, so, dito na tayo sa kabilang side na to. Kung 2 feet from this end, uh, 18. Tama? This is 18. Let's assume this is 18. And it is 5 feet. Tama? 5 feet. This is 5. So, therefore, this point is 18, 5. Now, alam natin yung ellipse natin nakahiga. The axis is horizontal. So therefore, the, uh, the equation is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. Where's the value of a? a is the distance from the center to one of the vertices. So in this case, it's 20. 20. So I have x squared over 20 squared plus y squared. Now, we don't have b yet because actually yung b yung tinatanong eh. How high is the tunnel? So ito yung tinatanong. So b yung tinatanong. Uh, let's make this over b squared equals 1. Sir Jeff, paano natin makukuha si b? So, namimilipit na siya ngayon pagkuhan ng B, actually. <laughs> Para kukuha natin si B, uh, isip pa tayo ng iba pang pwedeng uh, gamitin na value. So, for this case, we know that the uh, our elliptical tunnel dumaan siya sa 18.5. So, 18.5. So, X is 18. And then, Y is 5. So, we can substitute to solve for the value of B. So, we have 18 squared over 20 squared plus... 5 squared over b squared. We're going to solve for b equals 1. Now, si Sir Jeff, hawak niya yung calculator and he will be solving for the value of b. So, dito, i-ano lang natin, i-ready lang natin. To solve for the value of b, we're going to transpose 18 squared over 20 squared to the other side. So, 18 squared over 20 squared. And then, um, Sir Jeff, what is 1 minus 18 squared over... Uh, 20 squared. 19 over, I think, lagyan natin parenthesis. 19 over 100. Okay, that's 19 over 100. Over 100. And then, we can cross multiply. So, we have 5 squared times 100 over 19 is equal to B squared. The answer is 2,500. 2,500 over 19, this is the value of b squared. So, our equation now, <coughs> excuse me, our equation now is x squared over 20 squared plus y squared over, ano ngayon? 2,500 over 19. Pwede yun namang i-expand pa yung 20 squared if you want. Equals 1. Now, but the question is, how high is the tunnel at the center? So, we'll basically solve for this. And this is the value of B, because this is the value of A. Okay, so for the value of B, we're going to get the square root of 2,500. So B equals plus or minus, but we will just take the plus sign. So that's 50 square root of 19 over 19. Thank you, Sir Jeff. And this is approximately 
approximately 11.47 feet. 11.47 feet. Therefore, therefore, the tunnel, the tunnel is approximately 11.47 feet from the center. Okay, that's it.